Welcome or welcome back on C square foot. On this video clip, we're gonna look how to multiply rational expression. We're gonna look to monomials. Yeah, these are monomials here, right? 3x square oh, is a monomial over 5, 5, which is a monomial, times 10y square, which is a monomial over 6x cubed, which is a monomial. How we do that? We have two ways, and I will show you the first way in this problem number 9. Separate first of all. 3 fifths times 10 over 6, so we separate the numbers, but also separate the variable. x squared over x cubed times y squared over y. And here you can use either laws of exponents for the last part, obviously, or simplifying the expression. I'm going to use the second way. You will see what I meant, right? So let's take a look to the numbers first, okay? Uh, if, if you notice here, 3 and 6, right? 3 goes in 6 2 times, also 5 goes in 10 2 times. And we have 2 over 2 here, which is nothing else than 1, right? So this whole product of two fractions is 1, nothing else. Okay, but now let's move to the variable. We have x squared over x cubed. And like I said, you have two choices, and I'm going to show you how to simplify here, right? x squared means we have two x's here. x cubed means we have three x's. Those two x's are going to cancel would uh, two x's from x cubed, so we have an x right here. Similar here, one y here is going to cancel one y from these two we have here, and we just have y here. This is the final answer for number nine. Okay, state any restriction on the variables, you just want to be sure x is not zero and y is not zero. And let's move to number 10. Go ahead and try it, pause this video clip and try number 10. If you end up with this answer, 3a squared over 4d cubed, then wonderful job. Now, now let's take a look to these two problems. On these two problems, I'm going to use loads of exponents, and I'll show you what I mean. Negative 2 thirds times 9 over 16, so you see I still separate the things. So numbers here in this case, times x to the 4 over x to the negative 3. That's the reason I'm probably how I'm going to use loads of exponents, because I have these negative exponents times uh, y to the negative 2 power over y to the negative 1 power, okay? So let's take a look to the uh, first part of the problem. 2 goes in 16 8 times, 3 goes in 9 3 times. So what do we have here? We have a negative, by the way, 3 over 8, right? 3 over 8, right? We finish with numbers. But what about this? Right, so here I will suggest you to use loads of exponents. We have a quotient which uh, we need to subtract the exponent. So we have 4 minus negative 3, which is 7, right? So we have x to the 7. The same here, we have negative 2 minus negative 1, which is negative 1, right? And that looks like a good answer. However, do not forget, you want to simplify the expression. What do I mean by that? You don't want negative exp uh, exponents. So we have negative 3x to the 7 over a y. Of course, you can write the first power, but we don't really need this first power. So this is the final answer for number 11. Pause the video, people, and try number 12.
If you end up with this answer for number 12, then you did a wonderful job. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C-Square for more math video clips. Thank you.